Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm going to be showing you how to access the student portal and also some very useful tools that you can use on the student portal as well. So first to access the student portal you're going to go to the Rockford Career College homepage which is where I am now <clears throat> and you're going to go to the current and former students tab and then choose the student portal option from the menu. That'll bring you to the student portal login page. Here you would put in your username and password and then hit login and that would take you to a page like this. I already have one open. This is the home page for the student portal. Something very important to take note of is this gray bar right up here at the top. This will alert you or will have a little number here if you have any holds, alerts, or appointments. Um, so this way if you have a, for example, a financial aid hold or a student accounts hold on your account, uh, there would be a little notification here and you would be able to um, click it and see what the hold is about and also what you can do to be taken off hold. Um, same with alerts and appointments as well. So something really valuable that you can use is the degree audit, which is right up here. It's a quick link at the top left hand corner. This shows you your degree audit. So it has all of your general information. Um, it has your GPA. Also right here it has the student academic progress. So this will tell you um, how many credits you've completed and how many credits you need to go. For this particular student's Student, she has completed 32 credits and has 96 credits to complete. Um, so you can see how far along you are in your program. This section down here, the course list, this will show you what courses you've taken so far and also your grade in those courses. So for example, for these top few courses up here, you can see in the status column, it says complete and then the grade is in the next column right here. So the student has gotten all A's, which is great. Um, if you're currently enrolled, enrolled in the class, the status will say current. If you hit the next tab over here on the bottom right and scroll back down to the course list, it'll show you here um, a list of classes and the status will say future. So you can go through this list and see what classes you still have to take to graduate. Um, which can be nice when you're planning your schedule with your program director. Back up to the top. Uh, now I'll quickly just go through this menu bar over here on the left hand side to show you what useful tools you can use over here. Um, if you go to campus info, you can go to the faculty directory. Um, and here you can search by last name uh, of faculty members. So for example, S is a common uh, letter for the, for the last name. Uh, this would be a list of staff whose last name starts with the letter S, and then if you click on one, then you can see their contact information. So if you're unsure how to contact a certain staff member but you know their name, this is a great place to come um, to get their contact information so that you can get in touch with them. Um, in the Academics tab, you have where you can view your attendance and your class schedule as well. Um, here's the eCollege tab right here where you can access eCollege. Um, if you have any online courses or need to submit homework online. Um, in my profile, what is pretty important is the My Message Center. This will show you if you have any messages uh, from staff members or holds on your account. So if you click this hold thing, it would show right in here in this box uh, what the hold would be about and what you would have to do to resolve that. Um, so that can be very useful um, if you have any problems with your account or if a staff member is trying to get in touch with you. Um, in My Finances, you have your account information and make a payment online. That's currently being set up, so in the future we will be able to let's have students pay um, online through the student portal, so that'll be very useful in the future. My Financial Aid, here you can sign your award letter. There's another tutorial about how to sign your award letter um, on the student portal, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out. The My Career tab um, pertains to the Career Services Department here at Rockford Career College. Um, a useful tool is the My Resume tab. Here you could upload your resume so that Ann and Deb in Career Services could review it and leave comments um, and give you suggestions on how you can 
improve your resume so that you can be sure to get a great job once you graduate. And this last tab right here, My Documents, is uh, mainly just for staff. We would put documents here that pertain to your account, um, you know, if we had anything extra that we had to submit here as well. Um, so that's a brief overview of the student portal. Thank you.